we could just pick these delicious, delicious, amazing, and juicy, and tasty tourists. Welcome to your love hero reading. Every kid, every baby, today we are doing the classic you versus us. Then we're gonna see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my baby, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship. Bumble date, marriage. All right, let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their person. In April 2024, we gotta be so careful, baby, because the wind is trying to steal my cards. And these are my favorite cards, my Mythos, Greek Mythos deck. But it's been like such a windy day. It's, it's been weird. Now the wind has subsided, but it, it, it's going crazy. Boo -boo. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their person? I'm just going to hold, hold the cards in my hand because I don't trust the wind. Boo -boo. It was such a windy night last night. I could not sleep at all. Let me know in the comments. Are you sensitive to wind? The winds of change, you know. But it was blowing like so hard. One minute into the video. I don't know if I can say that, but you know what I'm saying. I don't mean it like that, but if you thought of that, like, you know, that's on you, Taurus. All right, anyways, the seven, the seven of swords, blue angels, shut up. Uh, the seven of swords, ew, Taurus, who are you dealing, see the wind's coming again. Uh, who are you dealing with? It's someone who's trying to trick you into something. And this rift separation, what's at the bottom of the deck? The moon, yeah, this is a trickster. It's almost trying to make you feel like they don't care about you. Someone's trying to make you feel like you're not good enough for them. They're trying to manipulate you in some kind of a way. The seven of swords, you know, you feel like someone left the building. You feel like someone doesn't care about you, but it's not true. I feel like yesterday's reading could have been very similar to that one. Uh, am I right, Taurus? I feel like you got that. The seven of swords, someone's just like, I don't care about you, I don't need you. I think someone left you actually, and they're hoping that um, it's gonna hurt you. They left you, they ghosted, they left, they turned their back to you because they were hoping it would hurt you, the five of clubs. They're like, are you disappointed yet? Are you in mourning yet, Taurus? Ew, who is this douche flute? Okay, so let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. I don't like this person, they're very sneaky. It's almost like, you know, they're trying to make you feel bad to make themselves feel better. I don't like this at all. Uh, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Also, Taurus, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. Never mind your douche flute. You can find better. You can find better tonight on the streets. You know what I'm saying? By the dumpster fire. Inside the dumpster fire. Um, give me a kiss. Mm, I appreciate you. I love you so much, Taurus. You know, I'm a Scorpio sun and rising. You are my opposite sign, so I'm always manifesting you into my life. So I'm so grateful for you. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> or else. No, I'm just kidding. But also, yes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Am I? No, I'm kidding. Uh, and also, Taurus, uh, it's okay. But if you if you feel like it would really help me out. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. <laughs> like, down below. What am I doing today? The wind, the wind makes me crazy. It really does. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is coming in for Taurus in the past? What happened in the past? Yeah, <clears throat> but, but you're you're dealing with a sneaky character, slippery fish, ace of swords. This is someone who plays mind games. Uh, they play word games as well. Maybe you know you could be dealing with another fixed sign. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But it's the dark side of Aquarius, someone who's using their intellectualism to try and play mind games, try and play language games, you know. Uh, if it was a new connection, like a bimbo himbo, anyone between you went on Twitter on a Tuesday, a uh, stray cat from the streets, it's, it is someone who came in looking so brilliant. And I think you were charmed by their intellect and they wanted to talk a lot. They didn't necessarily want to take it um, to a physical level straight away and you appreciated that. You were like, oh, this person's trying to understand me. They were trying to investigate you, but uh, they were trying to like find out your foibles and your weaknesses. This is a douche flute. This is someone who experienced injustice in their life. So, you know, in their childhood, you know, hurt people, hurt people, blah, blah, blah. No excuse, but I'm just saying that person had a very unjust childhood. There's something about their childhood. There's something about a uh, an unforgiving, critical mother here, or a, um, a weak father as well. So, uh, or, you know, whatever these, you know, these gender is arbitrary, so these energies, you know, it can't switch and, you know, anything in between. There's something here about a weak masculine energy or a feminine energy that was biting uh, and poisonous quite possibly to this person, unforgiving. But at the same time, you know, this person almost had to be the parent 
to their child, could have mommy issues as well. You know, someone was disturbed here, and an adult was disturbed, and they made uh, that child become the adult for them. Uh, and this person feels like injustice happened to them in their life, and they're bringing that into their relationships. I feel like if it's a new energy in your life, I don't think it's someone who had, I don't think it's someone who's been married before necessarily. They could have had relationships. I don't think they had, like, they're still, like, no matter what age they are, they're still looking for that one big relationship. Uh, they find it difficult to commit because they're afraid of love, because their uh, parental figure betrayed them in some way. Uh, and that's why they're so sneaky, that seven of swords here. Ooh, I don't like this. That's why they're so sneaky. They're always protecting themselves from something. Uh, and they could be trying to punish their mother. <laughs> I know my readings are so Freudian. That's why we love this deck, because it is so Freudian. But, like... <clears throat> It's true, they're trying, someone's trying to punish their daddy, mommy, anyone in between, through you. So if it's a new energy and someone ghosted you, all of a sudden they were like all about the talk, they were all about like the connection, they were like there's something, um, you know, magical between us. They were, they were like, you know, saying, let's not take it to the bedroom yet because I want to get to know you. And then suddenly the, they disappeared. Don't take it personal. They're trying to punish their mother. Like literally they're trying to punish their mother or father as the case may be. Um, <clears throat> and their intentions, the, this person just wants to hurt you, baby. The Five of Pentacles, they just want to hurt you. If it was an established connection, I think you, you were in some kind of a weird, toxic triangle between that person, their parent, you know, mother-in-law from hell, or like there's like this looming figure of a parent who was unforgiving or evil almost in their life. And you know, this is someone who's been through trauma, and instead of, uh, you know, trying to be scrumptious with you and appreciating the love you were giving them, they were trying to do sneaky things uh, around you. And don't get triggered, Taurus, because, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I'm just a random bimbo on the internet. But what I see here with that seven stories and five of cups is that this is someone who was disappearing on you if you were in a long-term relationship. This is someone who would disappear for a weekend, disappear for a day, disappear for a week, and then they'd have no excuse. And you always wondered, where were they? Um, I do see, I do see cheating here if you have the receipts. So always remember uh, the way we do it at Blue Angel Love Tarot. It's only cheating if you have the receipts. Never watch a video from a random woman on the internet doing the tarot and assume someone's cheating if you have no evidence. Or you don't have that intuition. But, you know, if that person was disappearing, going places, they were doing things they should not have been doing. But, Bill, um, six of wands, uh, this person still... They still, they're still trying to win you over, you know what I mean? Because it's not like they don't love you. They're very inadequate, however, and they are very toxic. This is like you're in a toxic relationship with someone here. They're still trying to win you over. Uh, something could have gone down in the seventh month or seven days, seven hours, seven uh, weeks ago when it comes to this uh, rift or separation. This person has the intention of being recognized by you in some kind of way, so they're still trying to teach you their ways. They still want you to recognize them. They still want to have it their own way. I don't know, Taurus. I feel like without therapy, this person is not going to reform. You have the eight of wands in the long term. This person's coming in with a message in the next eight hours, eight days, eight weeks. But it's a boa constrictor. I don't know. I think I feel like you can do better. <sighs> Particularly if it's something new, but boo. I might, I don't know, delete some database, cut your losses. I don't know. It's up to you. It's all about free will. But it's someone who's like, they're always going to be, it's almost like someone here, unless they get help for their issues internally, they're always going to be hurting their loved ones. Uh, just because, you know, they're working through some issues. They're, they're, um, Work, working through their hatred of their parent, through their love situation. So they're always going to hurt you until they heal that within themselves. And you could help them with that. It's not that hard. Um, but it's like they don't want to make an effort. They have a lot of hate. They have a lot of hidden hate inside of them. And I think you feel it too, Bill. Because you're so scrumptious, Taurus. You have, you know, you have that big heart, that big loving light energy. And I think you feel that there's something off about this person, you know. They could be an intellectual, maybe they're a teacher or a professor even, or a professional researcher of some kind. Like they do intellectual work. They're very smart. They're also incredibly low vibrational. Assert yourself. You have somebody else coming into your life, Bill. You know, 
this person so showed you their true face, the one we're reading for right now, because it's time to assert yourself. The Emperor, this is your card, Empress, anyone but Queen. What do you want, you know? Uh, put, put the law down. Put your paw down on the situation. Put your, you know, hoof down. Is it a hoof for, uh, for a Taurus? Like, you know, you know what you got to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, I, I don't know animals. Um... I'm such a city a city girl, but you know what I mean. Uh, get your horns out. Get your hooves out. You know what I'm saying. Um, the emperor here is telling me that you need to assert yourself. What do you want? This is the question. What do you want? Is what this person has given you so far enough? Is what this person uh, has given you so far the kind of future that you envisage for yourself? Or is it something better? There is someone coming in who is holding a torch for you. Spring tight summer season. So uh, king of wands. It could be, I mean, you know, we're still in Aries energy. So it could be someone coming in any day now. Between now and the end of Leo season, you have a new person coming in holding a torch for you. Someone who is worthy. Someone who is ready for action. And someone who's going to light the way for you. Uh, because the person we're reading for, I feel like like they need your help and someone is coming in to help you. Uh, it could actually be, you know, could be someone who whose profession is uh, a, like it's a soul, like a professional soldier or in the army or it's like some, you know, they're like upholding the law in some kind of way. Could be a cop, good cop. I don't know. Like could be a cop, could be someone who upholds the law, could be like, you know, someone who does security, but it's someone who upholds safety and takes care of people. Uh, you know, girl, boy, anyone in between, but it is someone who is righteous and they want to do right by you. Could be a firefighter. Let me know in the comments below. This is your story. Taurus, always remember you deserve the best of the best, the cream of the cream. Don't let these douche foods get you down. And it doesn't matter if you've been with this person your whole life. There's something better coming just around the corner, but Bill, I always say this because it is true. The angels removed that person. They've been naughty with you because someone else is holding a torch. So it's like, you know, someone waiting. It's a, it, it's a different connection, past life connection. Someone who's waiting for you to meet you. It's meant to be. They're waiting behind the curtain basically with this torch you're like when the story is coming in so make up your mind to put yourself out there baby <clears throat> be seen be known the torch is telling me you need to be in the limelight so you know i don't know like dating you know i know people hate it but dating apps put yourself out there be seen because someone wants to see you they want to notice you and they want to approach I love you, my baby. baby. Let me know in the comments below. Again, if this is your story, as stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you.